Veteran musician Jedu Blay Ambule has accused some executives of the Musicians Union of Ghana Musica of using the office for visa rocketeering. According to the veteran musician, the union's office uh, was being used to facilitate visas illegally for people. Ms. Ambule also alleged that Obo shared the two million that Ghana cities that was giving to the union by government for, to some selected musicians. Speaking in an interview on Showbiz uh, 927 on 3FM with Ms. G. So that two million mm -hmm. was for creative industry. Was not, was not no, it's not for only music only. Okay, the so the but, way they campaigned and uh, that the, through the Minister of Finance, whatever that happened, that money was transferred to uh, Musicians Union. That money came. What had happened to the union? They said they use it for research. What kind of research? Well, he had here PMG giving us some documents to show. So now the money is gone. Where is the research? What did the research bring? And all that. Everything is in a vacuum. When that money came, or what gave those that are surrounding him 50,000? 50, 50, you're sure about that? I know everything I'm saying. I'm not fabricating anything. Because That's the, 50, the two million that was... Yes, that was brought, yes. The one we said was for... for 50,000 cities. But Each, because that time, uh, Chamu Kwame was them, Tic Tac them, Ben Braco them, or, uh, who, uh, beside them, all these were guys who were surrounded them. So they gave, he gave all these guys yes, 50,000 yes, cities yes. to share among themselves? He gave it to them as a form of loan, but of which it wasn't paid back. No, I thought the loan was taken from uh, this bank Midland, that is Midland. Midland. No, 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 that, that was totally different. So you know for a fact that Obo gave them 50,000? Well, yeah, for sure, I know. Obo gave uh, producers, yeah, producers, you know, they gave them, what, 100,000? Why do you, what the producers, you know, I got to do with the Musicians Union? They are producers. And all these is on paper? All these, yes, they are all, they are, they are all there. When the time comes, you let them come and challenge me and everything will come out. What could have been done with that money, but for, you could not use it for research? That money could have built a studio, a good, I mean, state of the art studio for musicians. And if outside is charging about $100 an hour, you go to the studio, they give you $25 an hour. Why do you think that they didn't buy into your idea? Okay. No, 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 it's not that they didn't buy into it. It's just those kind of mafias, you know, <laughs> mafiarism going on in there. Because for me, they were afraid that when I come, all the kind of moral practices and everything will be, you know, will be in the air. For me, they were afraid. Because for me, I've been there before. I know what is going on in there. All those kind of visa racketeering, all the kind of you know all that. What's that? Well, I've said it. <laughs> we don't understand. So visa racketeering. What does it mean? <laughs> that they acquire visas for people to travel and somewhere. take money from them and in the name like of that. the union. In the name of the union. That they are going to perform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was many of these things were happening. 